Okay, I'm gonna kind of toying around with an idea. I mean, I know I'm way too young, but running for president. That'd be cool. Here's some of the things that I would do. First of all, unified health care. Sort of. I would unify health care on an emergency basis. In order to maintain your life, maintain a normal bit of life, all that's taken care of. Optional stuff you're paying for. If you want new boob, if you want a new face, if you want Botox, to look younger, all that crap, that would be your paying for it. I don't know how they do it in Canada. I don't know how their healthcare system works. You know, what, like, you know, can you do this, can you do that stuff, but, you know. Basically, a doctor must say, you need this procedure or you need this treatment to live and to maintain decent life paid for. Second, your veterans' benefits would no longer, and you guys out there, veterans, know what I'm talking about. You would no longer have to sign up. You would no longer have to do this, this, and this, and that. No. Once you enlist, you sign on a piece of paper. That it's gonna a little piece of paper. It's gonna have all your benefits that you call that you can get, and you just sign that. This is a recip recipient. Yes, I know. That's it. Then you just gotta fill out a little form. Simple little form. It's one sheet, same one. I would like this one now, this one, and this one. So you say, yes, yes, yes. Sign, put your name, put your security number. Off it goes. Just a request of these ones I want. Now I don't want to apply for to see if I qualify. No, you qualify here. And also, once you get discharged, as long as it's an honorable discharge, honorable general, pretty much the same parameters now. In order to still get your benefits, you're going to get a little veteran's ID card. Because I find it interesting that current servicemen can get stuff, but I can't as a veteran because I have no way to prove I'm a veteran. Unless I carry my DD-214 or something. I guess a VFW card would work too, but you know, you can fake that. Anyway, so that would be another thing. Another thing I would do is eliminate the pay for the President of the United States. The President of the United States and the Vice President no longer get paid. There you go. I don't know how much they get paid. Let's say they get paid a dollar a year. But there's four bucks, maybe eight bucks total that I have just saved the taxpayers' money. Congressmen, Senators, Oh, you're going to hate me now. Your pay is going to be cut. Your pay will be based on the average pay of your state. If you're a congressman or a senator. What your, what's your people that you represent are getting paid, that's how much you're getting. What else would I do? Um, I'd, 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 I'd have gay marriage legalized. I don't see anything wrong with it. I would... I'd do my best to reverse the 86 machine gun ban. I would have a, a federal carry permit. I'd make it to where you get an application and you send it to the FBI and if you qualify, you can have a federal carry permit so you can go to any state you want. I'd make it a federal law that states concealed carry permits or carry gun carry permits are valid within four within let's say four miles of the bordering states. Um, I would eliminate eliminate the title of commander in chief for the president simply because. As a, sir, as a former soldier, I find it very inappropriate, very wrong, that I've got to salute this guy who's never served, doesn't know what it's like to go through basic minimum. So I would just eliminate it. That I am no longer the Commander-in-Chief as the President of the United States. I still have directive authority over, you know, sending him into war and stuff, 
but they no longer call me sir, they never gotta salute me again. I'm only acting, only directing, you know. Basically, I'm not even ordering them, I'm ordering a general be take care of it. But. I would form a, a new governmental agency. I don't know what I'd call it, but it would be one central office that handles all information. All FBI files are copied here. All DEA files copied here. All military files are copied here. That way, if the FBI needs to check on, you know, Joe Brown, they call up this company, they get all the information from all the other different agencies. You know, they would not have any investigative or anything like that. All they would be is just a warehouse, basically. Um... What else would I do? I'd stop sending... I'd stop sending weaponry to other countries. Okay? Our military weaponry should be for our uses only. I will send troops to aid you, aid other countries. But I'm not going to drop off a, you know, a truckload of guns and bombs and stuff. Cause Probably in the horse of history in ten years, I'm gonna come back, come back and get him. <coughs> I'd stop a lot of the retarded research, like you know, a thirty million dollar research project, project to find a pen that can write in space so you can use a pencil or a crayon. Um. Yeah. That's all I've really got running around right now in my dome. But yeah, that'd be that'd be my my thing. Also this I would not promise anything. I'd say look, this is the crap like I just said, this is the crap I'm trying to do. I'm gonna try and get it done, I guarantee you nothing. But I will guarantee you this. If I don't accomplish at least some of this, I'm out. After two years, I'll retire. I'll leave. Something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Something else I would do. I would occasionally pick up a state, just like have a map, take a dart, throw it at a state, pick a state. Then I would just pick a letter. Then find every city in that state. In that state. It starts with that letter, and I just pick one at random, and I get the phone book for that, and I just flip up there, and I pick somebody's name up, and I say, look, this is them. I want to talk to them. I want to find out from this person right here what's going on in America. You are good. Because that's what I, I... I don't understand how the president, how... Congressmen and senators can do what's best for us when they don't even know us. So I would always want to be in touch with your average American. There you go. That's my running idea. <laughs>